Well, um, this might be my last video. I hope not, but, um, so I have an infection in my teeth and, or my tooth, and I've had it for oh, six to eight weeks now. I had no clue. Um, I did not know what was wrong with me and, um, I kind of thought there was other things going on, but apparently it wasn't. So anyways, I felt sick to my stomach. I was nauseous. I was exhausted. I thought maybe it was something I ate and then it was still like that. And then I thought it was prom and then it was still like that. And I thought maybe I was depressed because prom was over and it was still like that. And it went on for, well, no, like probably 20 days. So I kind of figured it out four days ago, March or May 12th. Um, so I went into the dentist and he's like, mm, got an infection. Yeah. So anyways, he put me on a Z pack because I'm allergic to everything. And, um, so I have to take it at night because my stomach's sensitive too. So I'm taking the Z pack for the, you know, for the duration of the Z pack. And so I go in today because I'm like, Okay, I still think I'm sick because I don't want to get up for work and that's not me. And I'm sleeping all the time, like I sleep all night, which is weird. And when I get home from work, I like want to sleep. And that's so I went into the doctor today and she's like, look, the dentist put you on that because that's what you told him. You know, you're allergic to everything. But she said, we got to put you on something else. We cannot put you on that. And she goes, what about, okay, I'm like really bad with medicine. What about, I think she said C-flexin or clindamycin. I said, I can't take that. I, I That makes me sick. I, I know I can't take that. Um, I'm allergic to everything though. So she said, I'm trying to read this. Lov, lovafloxacin? Wait. Levofloxacin. I don't know. Levofloxacin? I don't know what it is. Anyways. Lord have mercy. So I'm going to take this tonight, Okay at night because I can't take stuff in the morning because I'll just be ill the whole day. So this drug may cause severe side effects like irritated or torn tendons. Uh, okay. I just want to get rid of this infection in my mouth. So when I go to the surgeon, they can do something. Um, nerve problems in the arms, hands, legs, or feet and nervous system problems. Great. These can happen alone or at the same time. They can happen within hours to weeks. That's another thing. I do not like taking medicine really truly at night when I'm going to go to sleep because I'm like, okay, I could totally be allergic to it. My throat could swell and I could be gone the next morning. So I don't know. This could be my last video. Anyways, so bye if it is. Um, some of these effects may not go away. It may lead to disability or death. Th I mean, this is within the first two sentences of this medicine that's supposed to cure my mouth. Okay. Um, this is like some heavy reading right before I go to sleep. What else? Um, the chance of irritated or torn tendons is greater in people over age 60. Well, I don't have a problem with that because I'm not heart, kidney, or lung transport, uh, transplant patients or people taking steroids, drugs. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Um, call your doctor. Okay. I don't care about that. All right. So call your doctor right away. If you have pain, bruising, or swelling in the back of your ankle, shoulder, hands, or other joints, which of course I'm going to, because now I read it. Um, call your doctor right away. If you're not able to move or bear weight on your joints, or you feel something pop or snap. Okay. This is the thing. I have this infection in my tooth. We have graduation this week time to tear ligaments or tendons or snap or pop crackle or whatever this week. Okay. Um, if you have trouble sleeping, you might have, Oh, Oh, okay. Wait. Oh my goodness. Call the doctor right away. If you have signs of nervous system problems. Okay. So these may include anxiety, mm, bad dreams, great trouble sleeping, change in eyesight, dizziness, feeling confused, feeling nervous or agitated, feeling restless, hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that are not there. Great. Um, new or worse behavior or mood changes. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you're a whole new person tomorrow morning, when you wake up, that might be a problem. 
um, depression or thoughts of suicide, seizures or very bad headaches, which I've had headaches all the time. Um, that's why I went into the doctor today because I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I'm dying. I think the pain has gone up and the infection in my brain. Anyways, um, do not take if, let's see, if you have Maya Athena, I don't know, very bad and sometimes deadly breathing problems have happened with this drug. Oh, oh, wonderful. Well, I can't puke it up now. Well, hmm. Talk with the doctor to be sure the benefits of this drug are more than the risks. I don't know now. I mean, maybe that little Z-Pack was fine. It is used to treat bacterial infections. Okay, well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know now. Seriously. Okay, maybe that's why I'm allergic to everything. Because, I mean, like that big old thing. I don't think the Z-Pack said that. I think the Z-Pack was okay. Because I've taken that and I've been fine. I mean, the only side effect is like a lactose effect. And I'm okay with that one time a day. That's fine. Oh, my goodness. This one is not good. And, I mean, I already took it. So this might be it, people. I don't know. Anyways, so I won't do it right now, but my kids think it's kind of cool. When I push on my gum, the infection comes out. The smell. Mm -mm. It's so bad. Like, so nasty. I might put this one on YouTube because it's longer. But, oh my gosh. I mean, when he did that and I pushed on it, I said, I'm so sorry. And he's like, oh, I can't smell it. I thought <laughs> you're lying. I said, thank God for that mask. But, um, oh, so I take a Q-tip and probably nine times a day I'll push on and then you just see the infection come out and then I wipe it and about make me sick. And then I have to rinse with this medicine stuff. I have that in now. It is so nasty. I mean, it is a fake tooth. Okay. I have an implant. So the implant is the reason why I had to, or my gum was infected and they, they took out the nerves and everything. And he said, really, we can't keep your tooth because your gum is infected so badly, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they had to take the tooth out. Okay. Well, I can't just go around with no tooth in the front. Okay. I just can't. So I had the implant put in like 10 or 11 years ago and now it's infected again. So I'm like, okay, wait, it's an implant. Why is it infected? It should be good to go, but it's not. So I don't know. Anyways. All right. I will sign off. I'm hoping I can take another pill tomorrow and it works and I get rid of this and I still can breathe. That's my worst thing about medicine. I just want to make sure I can breathe.